that you have been waiting for a long time. It's called Hardware Acceleration. <laughs> okay, so I've got a small application there. So it's a really complex application, as you can see. <laughs> so I've got one fish. So, and, oh, sorry. I've got some procedures. So I'm going to run the, the application. So first of all, run it like this. So I've got the counter. There should be a counter. Uh, we changed the resolution, so it should be out of the frame. Go back. So if I run this application, it's 263 frames per second. That's fast. <laughs> oh, was I? <laughs> no, I was in direct 3D. I'm going to go in standard mode. Might be faster. No, it's same, same speed. Okay. So now let's. Activate the stretch, and we'll see that it's a big fish, but it's slower. And now let's uh, ah, I hate this program. <laughs> <laughs> so this this will slow it down. So now we are talking, ooh. and depending on which position of the rotation, it goes faster or slower, so this is not good. <laughs> so now let's go back to application runtime property, and I'm going to select the new mode, which is called Direct 3D, <laughs> and run it. <laughs> so it's better. <laughs> so if I want to have some fun, I can duplicate this guy, <laughs> duplicate 10 by 10, <laughs> and <I'll> run it, <laughs> same speed. So actually it's a big surface, there's 100 uh, so it's like five times the screen and uh, but that's not the only thing you can do <laughs> oh, oh yeah we can do in software just for fun no <laughs> 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 It <laughs> uh, doesn't react when I keep <laughs> busy calculating. So uh, now you have as well. Um, you also have new ink effects. So you've got a new ink effects box which display if the, the ink effects is available, is the software is available under software drivers or hardware drivers. So I will say, for example, uh, choose the monochrome shader. As you can see, the display in the frame editor is done via Direct3D, so you are actually see the ink effect. So if I run it. It's a bit slower, because each pixel has to go through a transformation, but still, it's quite impressive. It's, we're using the pixel shaders in a 3D card. You can, at the same time, uh, have an ink effect, uh, but you can also have an RGB uh, um, filter added. So you can have an RGB filter, so the color is going to be applied above the sprite. 
and you can also uh, define a blend co coefficient which is like a semi-transparency so you can have at the same time either an ink effect and a blend coefficient or an RGB and blend so if I run it now you can see that the they are blends uh, it's a semi-transparency in the borders <coughs> Something like that you can easily create a fire effect or... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, we, we, we are at this, we can only show you that. We've tried with uh, applications and uh, it does work, but there are still some problems. Uh, in this, uh, what is actually supported? Um, um, what is supported? So it will support full screen, it's not done in this version. Uh, so uh, you will have option to control the full screen. Uh, transitions, they should be working now. We tried yesterday, but they didn't work. But you're not going to change the machine. No, they don't work. So transitions still to be done. Um, alpha channels? Do they still work in hardware? Yes, alpha channel works in hardware. Um, uh, and uh, so for pixel shaders, uh, it will work with uh, DirectX starting at version 9. So you might think that it's a bit uh, high specification, but you know, uh, DirectX 9 is a couple of years old now, and everyone with a decent machine should have, should have it uh, if they are serious about games. Also, uh, for pixel shaders, uh, so ink effects, um, uh, Graphic cards that has been out since th uh, three years now should have pixel sh shadow support. Uh, yes? Your uh, blind mode and ink view and effect modes, can they be changed uh, during runtime? They will be, yeah. We'll add the action to, the, to do that. Yes? Can the ink effect can be combined uh, each with the uh, over? For example, uh, if I want a monochrome ink effect with a semi transparency ink effect? No. Uh, semi transparency with ink effect, yes. Semi transparency can be added to any ink effect, okay. but uh, apart from that, you cannot compare, combine two ink effects together. Uh, so, if uh, the, anyway, if the graphic card doesn't support pixel shaders, then it will simply display it without the pixel shaders. Um, for extension objects, uh, we will try to adapt as many uh, extension objects as possible. So you will have all, all the Windows control in uh, hardware mode. Uh, but there are some uh, objects that will need to be reprogrammed and we will, won't have the time to do it, like the perspective object, the lens object, the mode 7 object. But I'm sure that we will find people uh, to, to reprogram, reprogram them. Yes, is uh, some objects like uh, overlay uh, will be able to use uh, hardware acceleration for manipulation of the different features for surface object or surface uh, object of the uh, SDK? He doesn't know now. Uh, okay. Well, one, sh one, thing I one thing is sure <coughs> is that you will be able to get the DirectX handle, the Direct 3D handle of the window, so you will be able to add your own polygons and draw. Uh, in the dr display uh, run object uh, function, you will be able to dis to draw something in the 3D buffer. Uh, so, draw 3D yes, yes. Uh, 